Ladies and gentlemen, coin enthusiasts and collectors, welcome back to our channel. We are thrilled to have you join us today for another exciting journey into the fascinating world of numismatics. In today's video, we're going to embark on an exhilarating quest to uncover 8 rare and valuable US coins, that command significant premiums at auctions. So hit that subscribe button below and let's dive in. Number 8. 1939 Jefferson Nickel with Reverse of 1940. The 1939 Reverse of 1940 Nickel was one of the better made Jefferson Nickels, as more than half of the examples certified by PCGS feature full steps. This is a common date in most mint state grades, and only becomes scarce in MS67 FS. This specimen was sold for $2,695.13 with buyer's fee. Number 7. 1964 Kennedy Half Dollar Struck on a Copper Nickel Clad Quarter Planchet. Graded in Mint State 62 by NGC. According to Stax Bowers, smooth and inviting surfaces are warmly toned in golden tan with more vivid pink and blue highlights at the borders. A very rare coin combining two very desirable errors in one. First the obvious. The half dollar was struck on a planchet intended for a quarter. The diameter of the quarter planchet being smaller, the result is loss of peripheral detail for the half-dollar design, as well as a smaller diameter. Fortunately, virtually the entire date is visible to determine that it is 1964. It was sold for $3,290. Number 6. 1983 P. Jefferson Nickel. Graded in Mint State 66 Full Step by PCGS. According to the NGC Price Guide, as of January 2024, a Jefferson nickel from 1983 in circulated condition is worth between 10 cents and 20 cents. However, on the open market 1983p nickels in pristine, uncirculated condition sell for as much as $150. Full steps examples are scarce in mint state 66. Anything numerically higher is considered rare, with just single specimen certified by PCGS in MS67. This MS66 specimen ended up selling for $2,756.25 with buyer's fee. Number 5. 2012 P. America The Beautiful Quarter with Acadia Reverse. Graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS. The Acadia National Park Quarter is the 3rd of 2012 and the 13th overall in the America The Beautiful Quarters program. Awed by its beauty and diversity, early 20th century visionaries donated the land on the rugged coast of Maine that became Acadia National Park, the first national park east of the Mississippi River. The reverse image depicts a view of the Bass Harbor Head Lighthouse and Acadia's rough coastline. The design captures many representative elements of Acadia, the coastline, the lighthouse, the pine trees and the ocean. The coin is abundant in MS grades. It only becomes scarcer in Mint State 67 and higher. MS-68 specimens are almost unheard of. This highly elusive specimen was sold for $4,251.26 with buyer's fee. Number 4. 1981 D. Washington Quarter Dollar with Flipover Double Strike. Graded in Mint State 64 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, an impressive double strike mint error. The first strike occurred with a partial indent over the lower reverse. The second strike occurred with another planchet between this piece and the reverse die. The date and mint mark are visible from both strikes, but the second impression is significantly sharper in the date area. An incredibly well-preserved piece, with satiny nickel silver luster. It was sold for $7,200. Number 3. 1989 D. Lincoln Cent struck on a pre-1983 copper planchet. Graded in Mint State 65 read by PCGS. The remarkable aspect of this intriguing mint error is that copper planchets were last used for coinage in 1982, seven years before this piece was struck. Copper blanks in early 1982 weighed 3.11 grams and had a composition of 95% copper and 5% zinc. The zinc planchets used from that point through 1989, and to the present, were composed of a nearly pure zinc core with copper plating, for a total composition of 97.5% zinc and 2.5% copper that weighed only 2.5 grams. Perhaps a copper planchet remained hidden for years within the crevices of mint machinery or transport equipment, or perhaps a planchet supplier mixed in a copper planchet that had been set aside as a souvenir. 
whatever the reason for this anomalous wrong stock error, it is likely irreplaceable. This highly sought after error coin ended up selling for $7,500. Number 2. 1982 P. Jefferson Nickel. Graded in mint state 67 plus with full steps. Jefferson nickels of the modern era that were minted during the last 50 years are generally rare in top grades and that is especially true for those struck during the 1980s, regardless of their designation or lack thereof. For all issues combined from 1980 to 1989, PCGS has certified slightly more than 100 examples in MS67. This sharply detailed superb gem, features satin luster and splendid gold, blue, and violet toning. It was sold for $12,600. Number 1. 1984 Lincoln Cent with Double Die Obverse. Graded in Mint State 68 Plus Read by PCGS. The Cherry Picker's Guide credits Richard Allen as discoverer of the 1984 Double Deer Cent variety. Lincoln's beard and bowtie also show prominent doubling. The variety is readily available in most Mint State grades, but MS 68 Plus Red coins are undeniably rare. The present coin appears as made aside from a solitary pinpoint tan fleck inside the obverse rim at 730. Distributed tiny trapped gas bubbles are usual for the issue. It fetched a sum of $15,600. Thanks for watching this video. Consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating numismatic content. Have a good one.